behind this diaphragm, this thin muscle that gives us the hiccups is stomach. Stomach in a deer has four different compartments. Uh, they're not four stomachs, but just compartments. A deer will eat food and swallow it, does not chew it well, just eats it, swallow it, and later will go somewhere where it can be safe when it's out <coughs> and it's exposed to danger. Other animals, people, so forth. So it goes back in a safe place and then we'll re-chew the food and the stomach will take a small amount of food somewhere between the golf ball and the baseball and it will bring it back up into their mouth and they re-chew it and then swallow it again and it goes to a different section in the stomach and passes through those four compartments and gets into the small intestine and after the stomach has turned it to a liquid. The intestine is covered with a thin sac, also very, very thin. It uh, just kind of separates it, but it doesn't have the strength to hold it up. Peritoneum is called. You hear sometimes that people have a disease called peritonitis. Very, very painful. That's an infection in this skin. Well, that skin is what protects all these small intestines. And there's a bundle of them. <laughs> If you took this and spread it out in a straight line, I mean, it would go down this room and back up the other side and so forth. Uh, there's a lot of it. Now, why do you suppose it's made with such a twist? Man, you, you realize this is one tube. Just one. Goes from the mouth to the tail. Look at that. And we're no different. We have one tube through our body. Now why does it have this, this kind of a twisted mess? It's not a mess. But why, why isn't it just a straight line? Yeah, because it's going around, it takes up less space. I mean, we would look awful funny to have a deer which uh, and the front legs here and the back legs back there and the one intestine that ran down that distance, you know, it's going to function. There are animals that do have their intestine in a straight line. Can you make one? Snakes. Snakes, right. Snakes and worms. Well, why is this one, why is it, it just maybe only this one? and so forth to get this absorbed into the bloodstream. This is pretty thin stuff here. And all of the vitamins and minerals and calories and so forth that we get out of our food have to be traveling from this into the bloodstream. This carries to your muscles to give you the strength to get out of the chair to get out of the room. And you know, if that never happened, you, there you'd sit. You, you could never get up because it had no strength whatsoever. Well, we know that doesn't happen. And it just passes through, then you get into the, the large intestine. And the large intestine, basically, its function is to take this liquid and sort that out and literally dry it out to where by the time it reaches the colon, which is the very end of the large intestine, it's in a semi-solid state. Now, you all know that sometimes we get the flu and it becomes a liquid state in the final intestine and it's not desirable. We have diarrhea. And there's lots of slang terms that are applied to it, but it's uncomfortable. And it's because of an infection that's inside these intestines. And usually it only lasts for a short time. The flu is not a, a long-term thing, thankfully. But this is the first purpose of the large intestine, is it's going to sort out 
these fluids. Now these fluids have to be run through a filtering type of thing. And there's a couple of main filters in our body. And one is the kidney, and that's in a cased in fat, usually right, uh, and you can see the kidney inside this fat. Not a very big organ, but that filters blood and gets all the impurities out of blood. Very important, you cannot live without your kidneys. You can live with one, but you can't live without any. The other is, of course, the liver, and this is this big flat one, and I'm only showing you a very small portion of it that extends clear across. It's in right underneath our diaphragm, clear across this. And the liver is also a purifying device and purifies blood. And the kidney is purifying this water that comes out of here, generally, and there's some of the water is not reused, but a lot of it is. If we didn't reuse the water uh, that's in our digestive system, we would just have to drink it just a tremendous amount, and then that means animals would have to live very close to a supply of water. So a deer doesn't have to be right next to a pond. It's convenient, but they can travel some distance and maybe only drink once or twice a day because that water is being recycled. And we do the same thing. Some of our fluids in our body are, are recycled. Now we got two or three minutes left. I'm not going to take this off, is that we just really don't have the time to do it. But this bone is attached to the skeleton. And it's a hip bone in there, and it's very similar to ours. Uh, the hip bone is interesting in that it sets in a cup. You have one bone that has a ball on the end of it, and it sets in a cup, and it swivels in there. If you take that out, the inside of that joint is probably the smoothest thing you ever touch in your life. It is smoother than a glass window. Just as smooth as it possibly can be. The only difficulty that it gets is sometimes you get a little tiny growth in there, and it's like a tiny piece of sand. And that hurts when it rubs. And they have a name for all that, and that's arthritis. And you see all people walking along, sometimes they're all bent over and hobbling. It's because their joints have this arthritis in them. And it's, it's painful, not, not pleasant, but it does happen. So this is definitely attached to the skeleton. And this is the part where if you were had this in a pig, you'd say this is a ham. Uh, you've seen in the stores whole hams that we end up in the Christmas time. Some of you will be having a whole ham cooked at Christmas dinner. Well, it's this muscle. And then also, uh, when we use it as venison, usually you cut this up into steaks. And you can end up and get a steak that's about that big round. And this steaks out of here, and this loin muscle that was in here are the two of the best parts <coughs> as far as the food. The rest of it, there's not a lot of usable parts as far as our eating is concerned. Questions? Anybody? Thank you for the privilege of talking to you.